I'm Dave Lectus, the mayor of the great city of Mission Viejo. As you can see, I'm sitting right here inside Mission Viejo Studios, where constant great programming and great sports programming comes right from this chair here. I am very proud to report that the state of our city is great. The local economy continues to see better days, and the future of our city is brighter than ever. Healthy reserves and good fiscal management have allowed the city to provide outstanding services to our community. This is the 23rd year that the city brings a clear focus of continually improving public safety. That's our number one goal. The city ended the fiscal year in a strong financial position. In fact, we ended the year with a $1.8 million operating surplus. That's extra money. The city's discretionary reserves are now at $26.5 million. Most cities strive to have 15, what? Most cities strive to have 15% in reserves. We now have 55% in reserves. That's solid gold, folks. The city maintained its AAA bond rating from Standard & Poor's and our AA2 rating from Moody's. This year, we did cut about six city staff positions and we implemented what we call a second tier to our retirement system for new city employees, which will significantly reduce the city's long-term exposure to retirement costs. This next year, we expect the local economy will continue to perform as well as or better than the state and other local economies. We have a great city staff that works to provide innovative programs and services all year long. Let's meet some of those people that made all this good stuff happen. As you can see, I'm standing here with Dennis Wilberg, the top man here at City Hall. Dennis, in February of this year, we sent out a survey. Let me give some quick background. Company Back East does surveys all over the country for cities. They come to our city, they give hundreds and hundreds of our residents a, a survey, and the results come back astounding. They've never run across it. Tell us what I'm talking about. We received a 99% approval rating from the residents that were surveyed uh, this year. That's on top of the 97% approval rating we received two years ago. So clearly the people that live in Mission Viejo love it here, uh, love living in Mission Viejo, love everything about it. What do you think? Was there one thing that they said that they loved more than anything? I think the uh, residents love the sense of community that we have. Even though we're a large city, we have a hometown feel and they love the sense of community, all the events that are put on, all of the recreation opportunities and things that uh, families can be involved in. All right, Dennis, I know you're uh, just going into a meeting. I caught you, but thank you for taking a few minutes and, and giving us those highlights. You bet. So we're going to test that out now. We're going to knock on a couple doors here and talk to a few people and see what they like about Mission Viejo. Come on, let's do it. Sir, hello. I'm Dave, the mayor of Mission Viejo. Can I talk to you for a few seconds? Yes, sir. I, do, I recognize you. We're at our church. How are you doing, Dave? I, I was at your church. Which church are you? <laughs> St. Killian's. You, you better believe it. I love St. Killian's. Okay. Sir, listen, we had a survey go out in February, and it came back uh, a resounding 99 point something percent of the people love living here. L let me ask you, do you love living here in Mission Viejo? And if you do, what do you love about it? Uh, it, it it's... I've been here since 1967. In this yeah. house right here? In this house. Oh my God. A couple of times I've tried to move to get a bigger house, my wife will not move from here. This is a this great is, street. This is it. The, we, can walk, we walk to schools. The kids walk from schools from kindergarten through high school. The church is there. Shopping's close enough. Uh, the neighbors are great. Uh, there's not that much traffic. I don't know how you get a better environment uh, in which to raise a family. So the soccer is available, all, all the things are available for school. Everything you want is right here. Everything, and just about everything you would want is right here, yes. I'd like to be richer and all that, but. I do love Mission Viejo. We, what do you love the best? Um, just all the things that the community does. We were down at the Norman P. Murray Center for the Halloween and the kids. The, and the, the Halloween hometown. Yes, it's just amazing how many different things that they do for our community. My sister was mentioning where they live, they don't have any of that. That's why they always come here because there's so much fun things going on. And they always How about the rec centers? Do you ever go to the rec centers? We love the rec centers. We love Mission Viejo Lake. We live up at the lake. We've raised our kids here. We've gone to all those schools and we bought here because all of our kids went to schools, got scholarships, and now they're all growing up and... All right, that's great. Not everybody's home in Mission Viejo. A lot of them are out shopping at this time in Mission Viejo. Let's see, let me look inside there. No, I don't see anybody there. <laughs> hey, I'm Dave. I don't want to alarm you. I'm Dave, the mayor of Mission Viejo. How you doing? 
How you doing? And we're just stopping by, seeing how people like living here in the city. And this is your home here? Yes. I just knocked on the door and nobody was there. I thought I saw movement inside the house, but that was my reflection. What do you think? Because this isn't rearranged or prearranged. What do you think? I think it's great. I, and we love living here. We have been living here since 2000. Great. And uh, we just love it. I, I travel 40 miles to my work because we like it so much here. Our city takes pride in improving our community in many different ways. This year, we started some major demolition over at the Marguerite Tennis Center. This project, which will be finished summer 2012, will improve this facility for many, many years to come. All right, I'm going up. Hey, turn it on. Yeah, I'm going up, and we're going to talk to the guy driving this big tractor who's demolishing our building here. Follow me. Come with me. Hey. All right, we'll come back and talk to him later. He's a little busy. But right now, they're completely annihilating the building here, and this is awesome. You're doing a good job, man. All right, Kelly, we're standing here during the middle of this construction. We've just ripped down the uh, the Marguerite Tennis Center. Tell us something about what's happening here. Hey, this is fantastic. We've been waiting 10 years to knock down this be fort. Be careful. It's not safe here. It's not safe here. So I can careful. see that. So. Good thing we got our hats on so that we're protected in case something happens. But we've been waiting 10 years for this, to knock down this 40-year-old facility. It's going to be fantastic. We're going to put in a brand new building. We're going to be redoing all the tennis courts. We're going to be uh, redoing the parking lot to make it safe and make a tremendous access. So Is it sentimental, Kelly, when you see this? Are you, are you sentimental in, at all of what has just happened to this building? I'm sure you've got memories and memories in here. Absolutely. At first, I had a tear in my eye, and I felt very sad, but now I feel ecstatic. I got tears of joy. I love it. All right, that's perfect. That's good. What do you love about it, Baron? This particular neighborhood is just really an old established neighborhood and you still have neighbors. People you can talk to, people you can connect with, wave to, as opposed to huddle in your right. place and, and not connect. Without a doubt, one of the most important reasons people have peace of mind and love living in the city of Mission Viejo is because of the safety. Once again this year, we were rated as the safest city in the state. We can thank our active and involved residents and our proactive police services department. I'm standing next to Mike Gavin, some say the luckiest sheriff's deputy in Orange County because he's got the gig of being chief of police services in Mission Viejo. Mike, tell us some things that have happened in this year that you're proud of, that you're most proud of. Well, uh, Mayor, the crime is down. We're, we're real proud of that. Uh, our traffic accidents are down. Uh, we're real proud of that. Let me ask you about, on the traffic accidents. What about the motor cops? We have a, they're controversial. Myself, my family's been on the receiving end of them three times, but I know that it reduces traffic accidents. Someone said that we have less traffic accidents in this town than towns half the size. Explain that. That's a that's a real true, and you think all the traffic is going through our town as well. We have uh, you know a town of 95,000 people, and this year we're on pace to have less than 700 injury and non-injury accidents. That's a it's a really low amount, and it's because I believe of our motors being able to keep people slowing down because the biggest reason for accidents every year is unsafe speed. If you keep people slow people down, accidents will. Do Decrease, and that's I, agree. I agree. Mike, what is this behind us? Tell us, this looks new. What is it? This is our new sergeant's um, uh, response vehicle, and we upgraded from a regular patrol car to an SUV with a command post in the back. We, we made it similar to the model that Orange County Fire Authority uses for their battalion chiefs, and it gives us a lot more equipment on board to deal quickly with major accidents and, and, and incidents that might occur in a city, say at the mall or at the hospital or at the kaleidoscope. Mission Viejo saw many business renovation projects that will better serve our community with over five and a half million dollars in business improvement activity. The shops at Mission Viejo was one, Mission Hospital, and many of the auto dealerships, they all led the way in business renovation and expansion, which also includes several of the neighborhood shopping centers that have been revamped or are under construction. I'm standing with one of the tallest men from Mission Viejo, and that's Chuck Wilson, Director of Community Development. Chuck, right behind me is one of your babies, I'd say. It's uh, the, the new opening of the LA Fitness. Tell us how you feel about that. 
Well, this is an important example of uh, a center that, that renovated. We want to have a lot of the tired centers in the city, uh, you know, improve, do upgrades to the center. And this is an example of having LA Fitness and all the facade work to really point to. And it looks great here. This center, I don't know if we can get some shots of this center, but what it has done, it is fantastic. How about the Chamber of Commerce? That thing is, uh, is brand new. Tell us about some new businesses that have opened up. Well, the Chamber of Commerce, obviously, that this, to see the birth of that organization and certainly your partnership in that and creating was fantastic, and it's a great uh, uh, selling point for economic development. We hope to partner with the Chamber. Some of the other uh, new businesses in the city, obviously, for Forever 21, going to the old Saks building at the mall, that was a huge great uh, one. catch. And then uh, we have uh, the Lego store in there. Uh, Fairhaven Memorial down the center drive near Home Depot. First mortuary in Mission Viejo. Yeah, and another example of the art type of architecture that we want to point to. And then uh, Bravo Burgers down on La Paz Road. Nice. Great French fries. Absolutely great French fries. All right, Chuck, thank you so much. You've given us some great insight on what's happening in the city. Now we're going over to Mark Shagnon on the corner of Oso and Marguerite. So come on with us, Chuck. All right. Road projects in Mission Viejo play a huge role in easing the traffic and enhancing our way of living. These projects are an investment in our city and its future. Okay, I'm standing here with Mark Shagnon, Director of Public Works here in the city. Hey, 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 hey! What we're doing right now is standing on the corner of Oso and Marguerite. 80,000, Mark tells me 80,000 cars pass through this intersection every single day. Mark, tell us what we've done here in the last 12 months. Well, the main thing that we've done is we've added a lot more lanes out here so that the traffic uh, flows through more smoothly. We used to have a lot of congestion, and now, as you can see, uh, we don't. It's uh, flowing very nicely. It's absolutely beautiful. I, I wish we could get out there with the camera and be right in the middle of all this because it is just flowing. There's two lanes of, to explain that, two lanes now turn each way. That's right. All the left turns now have dual left turn lanes. Uh, we also have designated right turn lanes on Marguerite. So. Uh, there's just a lot more capacity for the intersections so the traffic can flow through. Mark, one of the big questions here that everybody says is, hey, why are you spending money now? People are out of work. People are losing their homes. Why are you si spending city money to, uh, you know, to build uh, a better intersection? Explain how that whole thing works. Well, the need for this project was identified years ago. The city pursued outside funding to get it built. Uh, and the funding that we received has to be used for this project. So we, we don't have the discretion to use it for anything we want, so we have to use it here. So the money we collect here, the taxes and the funding, we can't say let's go uh, build a, a playground somewhere. It doesn't work like that. That's correct. We have to use it for this project. Mark, a lot of residents want to know, what are those little things above the traffic light? It looks like a camera watching you. It looks like Big Brother watching you. Tell us what those are. Those are actually what we call emergency vehicle preemption devices. That allows the emergency vehicles, fire trucks and so forth as they're approaching an intersection. They hit the strobe, it triggers the signal and turns a green so that they can move through the intersection uh, and, and the cars in the other directions are stopped. Love it, inside information, I like that. Mark, also I noticed some of the street signs are being renovated and tell us about the Murray Center sign. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, we're refurbishing the street name signs throughout the city systematically. Um, and earlier this year, uh, someone contacted me and said, hey, Mark, the Murray Center, it's our, it's our big center. We need to add it to the La Paz Veterans Way sign uh, so people know where it is when they're driving down La Paz Road. And that's exactly what we did, and it looks great. Mark, you've done a great job here. I love it. I love the energy here in this intersection. Look at the big trucks here all passing through. 80,000 cars a day go through here. Thank you very much, Mark Shagnon. Tell us where you're from and, and what you like about Mission Viejo. My daughter and I just moved here from Red Deer, Alberta. And we love Mission Viejo because it's clean, it's safe. We have done so many community things just since we've been here in August. My daughter's been having a great time making friends and just the availability, the, the people are friendly, there's a lot to do, you keep this uh, the city clean. As awareness and respect for our planet grows, so does our interest in updating our slopes and medians. This past year, we've gone even greener. And early in 2012, we are going to welcome the new Farmer's Market to the Mission Viejo Civic Center. I'm standing here on a beautiful day in Mission Viejo. I'm standing with second in command at City Hall, and that's Keith Rattay. Keith, 
right behind us. We're somewhere on Geronimo, and we've got a lot of slope uh, re renovation going on. Tell us about it. Well, this year we renovated about five and a half acres of slopes along uh, both Marguerite Parkway and Geronimo Road, and we're actually on Geronimo Road here. Uh, every year we've been renovating uh, a different section of slopes, uh, up and down Marguerite Parkway primarily, because the slopes are getting old. Uh, most of the slopes are in their 40 years old, and so we've been replacing a lot of the shrubs and the uh, ground cover, and going through and trimming out and thinning out a lot of the trees. Uh, some of the trees were planted too close to the property lines or close to the, close, too close to the side. All right, Keith, what, do you, what kind of plants are these? Why are these good plants? Is there something about these plants that are spectacular? Well, I wouldn't say spectacular. They're they're hardy, and they are uh, they'll cover the ground on a reasonable amount of time. We usually like to plant uh, plant and space plants so that they start to cover. Uh, you know, in the, in four or five years, we have good coverage of the slope. That helps with stability of the slope. One last question, uh, Keith. Uh, the city's been accused of planting plants too close together. Sure. Tell us either you know, is that correct or why we do it? Well, we don't plant plants too close together. We plant, uh, like I said earlier, we plant plants that are uh, a far enough apart that if uh, you. Know, you know, three to four years we've got good coverage and we have the slope is stable in a rainstorm also uh, if one plant dies and you have the plants spread out so far then you have a big hole that also uh, increases the susceptibility to plant of the slopes uh, slipping so. all right keith we're going to go now over to a different part of mission viejo we're going to go into the medians where you're it's your specialty there so let's head over there sounds great All right, Keith, you and I are standing in what some would say one of the most dangerous spots in Mission Viejo. We're in the middle of Marguerite Park. We're in the median. What you've done here is exceptional. Tell us what we're looking at here. Uh, we're looking at a, re a renovated median island right uh, just west of the Osa Creek Trail. And this is a median island that we did a couple years ago with grant money. Uh, and it is all drought tolerant plant material. There's a subterranean irrigation system that's here. And we use rock that's uh, brought in here from just south of the border in Mexico. How about uh, the plan for the future? Are we going to be doing more of this? Absolutely. Uh, that is our hope. Uh, we're going to be coming to the council in the next couple uh, weeks, hopefully, with more uh, uh, median islands just in front of City Hall, similar to this, uh, with more grant money. Hey, how about City Hall? Anything going on over there? Because I know this is very green here. What about a City Hall? Absolutely. This year we installed over 12,000 uh, square feet of solar panels on top of City Hall, and that 12,000 uh, square feet allows us to have almost $3,000 in savings in our electrical bill just on City Hall alone. Thank you, Keith. This is great. Let's get out of here now before one of us gets hit. All right. Hey, hello. Do you recognize me at all? My name is Dave, the mayor of Mission Viejo. How you doing? What, what we're doing, we had a survey go out, and it said that 99% of the people love Mission Viejo. I'm asking you, this is uh, unsolicited, do you love Mission Viejo? And if you do, what do you love about it? Well, we've lived here 44 years. Well, In this house right here. This house right here. And we love that it's been a, it, the neighborhood looks nice. They keep the hills nice, nice and everything. So it stays really nice. Do you ever use any of the amenities we have, any of the uh, sports I things? Use, we've been a member of the Lex Center since the day it opened. Great. And never lapsed. Well, that's perfect. That's all we needed to hear. We're, we're right on track with 99, we're at 100%. No one said they hated it yet. Okay. Thank you very much. Earlier this year, we talked about going green at the city. Where I stand right now is the epitome of going green. I'm at the Metrolink station at Laguna Niguel Mission Viejo. Last week, I took a ride on these rails, and it was unbelievable. We went all over, and the price, I can't believe it, $7, and you can go anywhere in Orange County, and that includes hopping on a bus somewhere to, to, to get to the next spot. It's incredible. You go to the Angel Game. You can go to Fullerton. You can go to uh, San Juan Capistrano. Wherever you want to go, you can do it right here for 7 bucks. It's unbelievable. And if you want to get a little crazy, go on down to uh, San Diego. Go up to Alvera Street for a few bucks more. This is going green right here in Mission Viejo. Mission Viejo is lucky enough to provide residents in three completely different cities with animal control services. The Mission Viejo Animal Services Center is a pro-humane, volunteer-driven facility. It serves Mission Viejo, Aliso Viejo, and Laguna Niguel. That's a combined population of over 200,000 residents. In addition, the city of Mission Viejo owns and operates its own public library, which has been open and serving the community since 1997. 
today a whopping 85 percent 85 percent of mission viejo residents are library card holders and this facility has has become what we call the educational and cultural center of the community all right, we're standing inside the children's section right now, the Mission View Library, with Stephanie, who's the Director of Library Services and Cultural Services. Stephanie, give us some 2011 highlights here at the library. Well, we were very popular this year. We had 1,000 visitors a day. We had 2,600 um, items checked out of the library every day. That is amazing. It is amazing. Uh, we had some of the most popular authors in the city. Um, uh, for our, our community, we had Rick Riordan, popular uh, author of the Percy Jackson series. We were the only place in California that he visited. And we had another popular visitor of our most popular Whoa. kids character, Skippy, Skippy John Where, Jones. Where did this guy come from? What, what does he do? Skippy is a Siamese cat who wants, who wants to be a chihuahua so he can go to dog obedience school. And he is so popular because... You know what? He just said he wants to give you a little kiss. Is that all right? Oh, oh man, isn't that cute? <laughs> he is very loved. And he also, besides being a cat, he also speaks Spanish. So Holy Frijoles is one of his... Why, uh, why is he staring at me like that? <laughs> he, he's never seen anybody quite like you before, Dave. <laughs> look at this. You look fanta fantastic. Yeah, we, we catch a guy, former commissioner here. This is your neighborhood. Hello, over. Yes, sir. Uh, tell us what do you like about the city. Look at you. Look at you. You're in fit. You've got a knee problem there. Two knee problems. I know we're, we're messing up your time right now, but tell us uh, how long you've been running. Oh, going to hurt my time. No, you're, you're right on schedule. Uh... What do you love about Mission Viejo? I grew up in Mission Viejo, best city in the world, period. There you go. Great you heard it. Place to raise a family. Family lives here. Kids live here. Wouldn't live anywhere else. I love it. Story. I end the story. All right, keep moving. Keep uh, more. There he goes. Gray Wall and Bauer. Gray Wall looks like he has him. He does. He wins Gray the gold medal. Gray Wall wins it. Sense of community is exemplified in volunteerism. And people like a man named Ziggy Wazinski, a Mission Viejo pioneer, says it all. Ziggy's a member of our city's heritage committee whose contributions to our community run deep. Volunteers like Ziggy are the lifeblood of a community. Recently we honored Ziggy with a monument which is a testament to his volunteerism. Thanks in part to the Mission Viejo Rotary there is now what we call a Ziggy the Bear statue, dual water fountains for humans and pets, and a beautiful seating area all at the Olympic finish line on Olympiad. The city's Marines and Sailors Adoption Committee is just another example of our dedicated volunteers and that's what Mission Viejo is all about. I see passion in every aspect of our community. For example, the Capistrano Valley High School State Champion Black and Gold Brigade Band, awesome group. Mission Viejo High School Baseball CIF Champions at Dodger Stadium, I was there. Our community loves events such as the Arts Alive, the Reader's Festival. This year we had our first camp out with the mayor. The council is extremely proud of all the outstanding programs and services that are offered at the Murray Center. And some of the highlights this year, let me name a few. Symphony on the Green. Absolutely fantastic. Thousands of people enjoy the, uh, the Pacific Symphony there. KSBR Birthday Bash. Celebrity after celebrity is up on stage there. Again, thousands of people are watching this, uh, this live concert. The Gary and Kelly Show have had celebrities like uh, Debbie Reynolds, Bobby Caldwell, and the beautiful Linda Evans. This year we saw about 5,000 kids walk down La Paz for the walk against drugs. Mission Viejo continues to be on the cutting edge of technology, offering services such as Access Mission Viejo mobile app. This app gives residents access to city news and allows them to send requests, service requests from anywhere at any time. Our communication efforts continue to provide our citizens with timely news and information that impact the way they live, work, and play. Social media and our Mission Viejo Life blog create an open government and open communication forum for our residents. 
City Council meetings are also streamed live on our website. We have improved our Mission Video television programming and are featuring outstanding new community sports and educational programming. The list goes on as we continue to make community our mission, make volunteering our mission, make honoring sacrifice our mission, make family our mission. In 2012, we will continue to make living our mission. Thank you and God bless Mission Viejo. And if you look here, they have a butterfly for the doorbell. Very nice. I'll hit that. Don't break it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, dude, I can't they open the door, you hand them the doorbell. <laughs>